Right, welcome to Puerto Rico, uh, one of the most extraordinary, incredible islands I've ever had a chance to visit. I'm going to show you a local. Um, it's a beautiful dish used with leftover rice. It's called pigal, and it's going to be done almost like a sticky rice in a cast iron. So the secret is beautiful sausage. I've got some cooked chicken here first. Now, this is about how do you elevate that? How do you lift that up to the next level? Now, the beauty of this dish is that it's a staple, nothing fancy but the flavor profile is unique, and I mean unique. Slice up the onions, not too thin, otherwise they burn. Whilst I do that, take your, these are leftover roasted uh, chicken. Take them, lightly season them, okay, and just get them into the cast iron pan. I want to get that really nice and crispy. Over to the pan, nothing in there, just straight on and get them nice and crispy. I want the chicken fat coming off there. I'll show you why in a minute. Super crispy, really important. Now, with the onions, get some garlic. Slice that down. Be generous in the garlic. Take some of this sausage. And all we do there is just literally take that out and squeeze that over. Get rid of the casing. And that's a beautiful Puerto Rican spicy sausage which is gonna give a really nice flavor to the rice. Now, that may not look appetizing, but trust me, it will transform into something unique, let me tell you. Now, I've got the color on the chicken. Take that out. And then, with the onions, sausage, garlic in, over we go. I've got that flavor of that chicken in there already, look, it's beautiful. Oil in, now your onions and your garlic and your sausage goes in. Now, fry that off, beautiful. Now get that really nice and crispy. Great color on the sausage, great color on the onions. Caramelize that garlic and start to make this really nice and flat now, base. From there, take your salt and give that a really good seasoning. Beautiful. Beautiful. Really important that you keep that on the heat and it starts getting really nice and caramelized. Remember, we're gonna crisp the rice, so you never ever get anything crispy in a cold pan. So keep that heat in there. Flatten that down nicely. Leave that bubbling away. Now, the chicken. Skin as well, just open that up and sort of Break it in half and literally keep it nice and sort of chunky, not too small. You want that all sort of coming off the bone. Get it too small and it sort of disintegrates. You want those nice chunks of chicken running through this dish. I'm using all the skin as well, that's such great flavor. And look at that, got a bit of spice in there. Got the caramelization going on there. That's exactly where I want to get that. Now, in with that chicken, beautiful. That is beautiful. Once all that's fried off, from there, tip that out. Get that pan really nice and hot again. Look at that, how beautiful is that? And now we're gonna start frying the rice. Really beautiful. The flavor in there is incredible. Now, oil goes in. Really important to get that oil piping hot, okay? And that's gonna help literally get that rice nice and sticky. And this is the sear that's super important. Okay, in she goes. Beautiful. Now from there, just literally pat that down and get that super crispy. Really important to get the rice so toasty. Almost in a way that you think you've overcooked it, but it's not. It's a smart way of doing it. Next, get my chicken over and spread that in there with the onions and the sausage. Look at that. Get all that resting juice. Beautifully done. And that just looks incredible. Chicken's nice and crispy. Onions have done their job. The sausage is rendered. The spices come out of those. And it really is literally making that sing. Push that down, be disciplined. Pat that chicken into that rice and get that crispy. Now the garnish are the eggs. 
just a beautiful fried egg on top of there, okay? So, non-stick pan, turn that over. I'm gonna flavor the eggs with a little touch of garlic in there. Beautiful. A little bit of the pepper, again, just down. Again, local pepper, a little bit of heat to the eggs. I just wanna run that through that oil. So beautiful. Fry that off, get that nice and crispy before we crack our eggs in there. Touch of salt. Now get that oil nice and hot. And we should start softening the garlic and the peppers. Get a touch of butter in there. And just to get this really nice and brown, look, I'm gonna put a touch of butter down the side of the rice. That's gonna give that a really nice nut brown flavor. And so as that starts getting nice and toasty underneath that beautiful caramelized rice, the butter literally lifts the flavor. Now, once that butter melts, Get your eggs straight in over the garlic. Such a beautiful way of cooking eggs. And start getting them fried. The flavor of those peppers and the garlic go into the eggs. Then we'll hit that with some cilantro. Roll that round. Use the stove to your advantage. Cilantro now. Get some beautiful cilantro. Group it up and literally Cover those eggs with that cilantro. Watch this. So nice. Over. Beautifully. So on there, I'm going to tip that out for flavor. Finish cooking the whites. That is nice and crispy. Over. And now for the exciting part. Get the plate. Carefully. Sit that on top. And then we'll turn that down and literally, bang. And just to be sure, and then lift that off. Beautiful, wow. And take your eggs. And use the garlic and peppers. Bam. And then we have the most amazing Puerto Rican pagao. Beautiful. Now, if you enjoyed that recipe, please click the link below. And if you missed Uncharted, then please watch it on Catch Up on Disney Plus.